guys, Jen here. Um, sorry Kella's not in the video today. She's upstairs having her bath and we've had quite a busy day. Um, Christmas coming up. So um, today's topic is, or this week's topic is, um, things that you've purchased that you think were a wasted buy. <clears throat> and the thing is, a lot of mine are the same as everyone else's. So definitely things from when we first came home newborn outfits, uh, outfits in general for a newborn, not a great idea. Sleepers, on the other hand, we used a lot of those, um, but the little outfits, kind of a wasted buy, uh, as well as uh, the hats and the mitts, we did not use those. We couldn't even keep a hat on her head, so uh, those were definitely wasted. Um, the same as the other uh, girls, we, do, we never used the, the bibs at all. We never used those. Um, <clears throat> uh, things like, well, one thing that I thought was a wasted buy when we first came home was our glider. And you wouldn't think like such a big purchase, it's a glider. And someone had warned me and said, don't buy a glider. Uh, it's a waste of money, you may not use it, it might just sit there in the corner and you can pay a couple hundred dollars for it. And truth be told, when we first came home, that's exactly what happened. So we didn't use our glider, it just sat there, and it was really expensive. Luckily we had gift certificates to buy it with, but it's still, I was like, wow, why did we get that? Why didn't I listen, you know? Um, <clears throat> But now that she's a little bit older, I've started using it at night time when she's fussy. So that's one of those items you might be able to hold off on uh, and maybe try a glider somewhere and see if your baby even likes to do that because Calla preferred to bounce on an exercise ball. So that's what I did for like the first five months with her. So <clears throat> yeah, that's another item that you probably want to maybe hold off on a little bit. Uh, same the bedding, the crib bedding. Uh, she doesn't even sleep in her crib, so definitely that entire purchase seems to be a waste for me. Um, and, you know, there's not too much else that I think has been a waste. Uh, I try to research a lot of the things before we buy it. Oh, when... Before she was born and I planned a cloth diaper, I had went out and bought a whole bunch of pre-folds and actually had bought them in kind of a preemie size, so like five to eight pounds. That was a wasted buy. Don't do that. Especially because we didn't even cloth diaper her until she was big enough to fit them properly. Because I found the pre-folds, she was so skinny and tiny that they were so gigantic. <laughs> and I just found them really difficult to use mm -hmm. until she great if you're all eager to cloth diaper right away and I give you credit if you can but for us um, the prefolds were a wasted buy I actually ended up selling those uh, because we never we never used them and I bought the covers and the prefolds and everything so uh, yeah that was a wasted buy um, uh, for us in the beginning but yeah, like I said, guys, that's about it. I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas, and we will see you next week. Take care. Bye, guys.